Good morning. This Sunday, we bring the sermon series, St. Luke's on Broadway, to a close. And we're going to do it by looking at one of the great, great stories, Beauty and the Beast. I love that line in the song when it says, Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, Beauty and the Beast. It is a tale about human nature as old as time. This story itself goes back to France in 1740. 1740, it, they were telling the story of, of a prince and who gets turned into a beast and a beauty who comes along and how they both have to discover something about themselves. Well, it's a powerful story, and Walt Disney picked it up back in 1937, and he was thinking he would maybe turn it into a, a great animated movie. He had just finished up Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and this seemed like a good place to go. But he just couldn't seem to make it work the way he thought it needed to go. So he set it aside. It would be 50 years later before Michael Eisner and Jeffrey Katzenberg decided let's have another go at Beauty and the Beast. And in the end, it would be produced and come out in 1991 as a movie, and then three years later, it would already come out as a musical on Broadway. A tale as old as time. A tale about a young man who was a prince. He had wealth. He had power. He lived in a castle. He was so handsome. But he had a cold heart. He really had missed what life was about, and that's loving other people. And so it was that a, uh, an enchanted witch came along and said she needed to spend the night somewhere, and she would give him a rose. It's all she had. But if she, if he would just let her stay one night in the castle, she didn't look very nice at all, a haggard beggar. And here this man who had everything, but had a cold heart, just laughed at her and turned her away. And so she cast a spell on him, saying that he would be turned into a beast and all of his servants in the house would be turned into household items, teapots and candelabras, and he'd be a beast until he could learn how to love and find someone who would love him. And so time would go by. And the question was, could this person discover what it meant to open their heart and be able to love? To see truly within people, not just see a beggar, but to be able to see a person and could you feel love? Then the question becomes, Belle. Belle is a whole new kind of princess for Disney. She is the first brown-haired, brown-eyed princess that they've ever had. And she came along, again, very different. She was strong. She was forthright. And in the end, she winds up meeting the beast. And the question is, can she look below his exterior and see someone to love? It really is a tale as old as time. Can we look beyond the exterior and the impressions that we see or the color of someone's skin or anything on the outside? Can we look into people's hearts and then have a heart warm enough in ourselves to be able to love? That's a tale as old as time. We've looked at it already in this sermon series. Back when we first started, we looked at the Pharisees. The people who wore the long, beautiful robes, they had the seats of honor, they had the wealth, they had the power, and I can only assume they were good looking too. Yeah, they had it all, and yet they looked down on everybody else. Their hearts had grown cold, and they had forgotten how to love. And if there's one thing we all have to understand is we're all human beings. And we don't judge other people because of the color of their skin. When you stop and think about it, how silly is that? We don't judge people because they're of a different political party or because they're of a different sexual persuasion. We look at people as human beings and we look into their hearts and we discover that we can love one another. That's what our theme has been now for two years. Love your, love your neighbor, no exception. To be able to do that, that's what makes life worth living. It's what Jesus called us to do. It really is a tale as old as time, a song as old as rhyme, Beauty and the Beast.